Hello gamers, this is Pet from GamerPet.com and welcome to Pet Place Football Manager 2014 Season 1, Episode 1. Yes, uh, the series are back this time with uh, Football Manager 2014. It's 31 uh, October 2013 and uh, Football Manager just came out, the new version. Now, if you are a new buy, if you came here from the review or whatever, on the first episodes I am going to try to explain as many stuff as possible uh, and if you somehow are already familiar with uh, Football Manager don't worry I'm not going to exaggerate with my exp uh, with my you know explanations and so on so uh, as you might have figured it out from the logo that's uh, right here I'm going to play with Watford the last season we played with uh, Wolves for about 10 seasons yes guys a lot of episodes and i know for a fact that there are people who actually watched my whole series the whole episodes and there are about i don't know 10 hours of content or something like that now for people who are new i am basically going to pick up a team watford in this case i'm going uh, to edit my episodes so we are going to have something around three or four episodes per season I'm going to edit everything down so you will not see loading screens and uh, stuff like that. I'm going to try to make it more like a show and not like a, hey, look at me, I'm playing a game, you know. So, uh, the reason why I picked Watford, uh, some of you might know that I'm usually picking teams based on their color. Yeah, I know it might sound strange, but I don't like to play with red. Actually, this is kind of a nicer color than like pure red right like this so this is why i actually played with wolves last season and i also played with uh, blackpool in the past and uh, newcastle aston villa and so on i was actually considering playing with yeovil uh, i'm not familiar with this club i know for a fact that i've always seen them in um, in the league one and league two basically and I always remember them because they had the, their name with an I, you know, Yovil, it sounded funny. And because of the colors. And somehow they managed to promote. And uh, I was actually considering on playing with them. However, their, um, their team is not really, really, really that great. And a lot of the times I am up for a challenge, but this is in a way maybe too much of a challenge, right? I mean, uh, their uh, facilities are pretty poor. Um, if you can see here, basic junior coaching, basic youth recruitment. And you know, Football Manager is a complex game and people like to play differently. So people are really up there for the challenge. Some people are only there for the transfers. So they play maybe with Manchester United. So they will have a big budget and stuff like that. I personally like to take a mid-level team, try to promote it. And try to rise it and then try to get good uh, youth players this is what i really really love to get that uh you know 15 years old player and try to promote him and try to make the best out of him and we did that successfully uh last uh, season with uh, luca hamel which was one of the which became the best striker in the game so luca hamel i salute you it was a really really fun experience and i believe if i remember correctly i bought him in season two so then I kind of consider it on um, playing with leads, even though they have white and white as a color is uh, a bit boring. It's kind of nice because leads kind of have a good history in the past, but then they kind of got down and it would have been nice to kind of get him back up there, right? But then I looked at Watford. They also have yellow and black, which is nice. And I noticed that they have come uh, kind of always been in the championship with uh, promotion and then bam relegation promotion then bam relegation and uh, what really drove my attention was um, this good junior coaching established youth recruitment great training facility superb youth facility so okay this is a good team to train stuff uh, not only that, but they kind of have a pretty, pretty good team, which in a way, uh, it's kind of like, ah, yeah, with this team you kind of need to promote because it's a pretty good team. And my um, 
my goal, in case you don't know, in, in Football Manager you play the role of a coach and you don't set up the prices, you don't set up the finances. You have a boss and that boss, the you know, CEO, the CEO, depending on how you... Let's see how, it's, let's see how it's called, the chairman, basically. Uh, no, not here. I still don't like the, the menu, it's still way too clumped up. So the president, Raffaele Riva, uh, it's an Italian dude, uh, told me that hey, you need to to finish uh, in the top six. You, you need to play playoffs basically, and playoffs means to finish in the top six, right? Which is in a way a nice thing because last season with Wolves, uh, they they had a goal to promote. I kind of wanted a team that their goal was to maybe uh, just finish in the mid or something like that because I didn't want too much pressure. Like I, I can be fired and. This should be this this might be a very 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 short series, right? If somehow I get fired, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to apply to another team or just start a new game with Yovil or Leeds, something. I don't know, I don't know. I'm up for suggestions. So <coughs> one of the first things I do, like I, I already came I I declined to meet the press. I don't like to talk with the press, not because it's the press, but because it's boring to answer the retard questions. Something that they they placed in in Football Manager like about five years ago, I think they added the press uh, conferences and they simply sucked. They didn't improve them at all. I, I don't see a point on. Oh, how do you are going? How are you going to take care of the team? I'm going to do a blah 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 blah. Boring. Same questions every freaking time. Well, in a way, it's kind of in real life, right? Because in real life, you always see the same stupid questions. And then the players go like, uh, yeah, the best team won. Uh, if we are going to do... If we are going to score more goals than them, we are going to win. Like, no shit. <laughs> anyway. Uh, want, the first thing that I w want to do, basically, is check out my staff. So we, are we already have a director of football, Gianluca Nani, who is actually pretty good. I mean, judging player ability, 17, potential, 17, and then man management, man management 11. I mean, man, man, <laughs> man management can be a bit better, but I'm not going to bother with him. I'm just going to leave him because he's still decent. The assistant coach is decent, but it's a bit kind of... Uh, the reason is that I really love an assistant coach that's having a more uh, judging player ability and judging player potential. I want them to be really high. So I will try to somehow offer this dude a contract as a, not as an assistant coach, as a youth coach or something like that. Head of your development, I don't have one. And job interest, dubious. Salary, I can't offer him that salary. Suggest. No, he wants assistant coach. No, I will tell you head of your development. And he does not want it. I will offer him probably his uh, material termination and see what he says. It's kind of a hefty sum to give him in order to fire him. I will have to see if I can take the decision. I will see after why. Staff, okay. I already offered this dude uh, termination of the contract. He will leave. I mean, he sucks. He's head of your development and he's working with youngsters only 13. Uh, Nothing else, basically. I think man management is important for the head of your development. Coach. I mean, come on. Is this a coach? I I fired him. Uh, I'm going to get a better one. Goalkeeper coach is good. I'm going to leave him. We also have under 18 goalkeeper coach, which, uh, I mean... He's a goalkeeper. Oh, never mind. It's an, uh, just a coach in general. I'm not going to fire him yet because I don't want to spend too much. Um, or maybe I already did. I already offered the mutual termination for some of the staff. A fitness coach. It's a decent, let's say. Uh, under 18 fitness coach. It's uh, decent. And basically, the scouts are simply awful. I mean, come on. Look at this scout. Look at this scout. Look at this scout. So I fired them all. I'm going to replace them. Scouting is very important for me. And I'm going to see exactly how I'm going to improve. Now, the finances with uh, the team. So basically, let me see. You can see here, uh, it's a professional, of course. Uh, it's secure financial status. We have a 
decent transfer budget and the payroll, the available payroll is not really that great. But what's a bit uh, concerning is that on the finances, it's being said that we are going to be at minus 4.7 million. And we do have a bank loan that's going to be paid. I mean, we are basically paying a bit more than half a million per month for that thingy. So this is why we are losing a lot of money. So the thing is that they have added this uh, financial fair play summary, which means that we are not really allowed to lose too many money because if we lose too many money, we will go into administration, something like that. Sometimes the boss, you know, the president will come and give more money into the club and you are set. If somehow we manage to promote, we are all set because we promoted, we get a lot of money into the club. But if not, it's, it's a risk. So I need to decide if I'm going to take that risk or not take that risk, right? <coughs> now, let's look at, uh, at the team. They have it set up to 5-3-2, uh, which I'm not going to play like that. And le let's have a quick look at the team. Uh, we have Almunia as a goalkeeper. He's old, his contract is going to expire next uh, season, so he's only here for one year. He's decent. I'm going to try to look into another goalkeeper. This dude... Ah. This dude... Maybe he has a bit more potential, but it's not like... Team... First team potential. I mean, only two starts, right? And this is why, the reason why I want a better uh, assistant manager. Because the report you see here, in the stars, comes from the manager and he's not having that uh, judging player ability and judging player potential that well we do have a defender uh, right who's not really that agile but decent tackling and decent determination reese brown again a central defender who's not really that great one star and a half not really impressed Marco Cassetti, a very old uh, wing back, actually. He has decent stats, like here, like uh, technical and mental, but already slow, already no stamina, and I don't actually want to pay him that salary. You'll see exactly why. We're kind of close with the salary. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. Then we have a good uh, central defender. Yeah, he's okay. We have this guy that came loan from G Granada. Uh, we are also only paying him $65 per week, so which is good. Uh, the reason why is that the boss of Watford is also the boss of Granada and the boss of Udinese in Italy. So there are a lot of players uh, that came from Udinese and so on. Interesting. So he's uh, a bit slow, but he's very brave, aggression, balance, uh, jumping, heading and decent marking we have uh, this unfortunately he is injured he's two stars and a half with potential of four stars so he's good in the future at, at least in theory again the assistant uh, coach is not judging uh, their ability that well so in the future uh, we also have this uh, decent uh, goal uh, central defender so basically we are going to play with uh, this Swedish guy Maybe with this guy, and then uh, maybe with uh, this guy. Faraoni, we have Faraoni, which is basically a midfielder right. And this is something very interesting. Every time, you, whenever you see a midfielder right or left, they are always attacking midfielder right or left. They are playing on this position and not on this position. So if you play them on this position, if you play a classic 4-4-2, they will not really enjoy and they will not really play that well there. But this dude is a pure midfielder right, natural, right? And he's also having tackling. They're, as I've said, they are always going on the offensive with the midfielder right or left. This is, you, this is a finally a midfielder right. And he can also play as a defender right, uh, left and so on. Sorry, defender uh, wing back and defender right. So this is kind of very interesting. Very interesting. Pulil, again, the same thing. He can play as a defender, he can play on the left side everywhere, which is nice because he's versatile. But again, he's natural midfielder left, and he also has tackling. 
Not only that, this dude also has work rate and uh, teamwork and uh, good stamina and very decent pace. So I'm very happy with this player. Passing is not really that great, but it's still okay, right? Midfielder left. We also have this guy, which he has a salary, which for what for the uh, for what for this kind of high in a way. Again, he is a midfielder, right? But natural, but he has no tackling, and he has some decent pace. But this guy is not really telling me anything, and his contract is going to expire soon. And uh, he was also at Granada, he came here on loan, and now he's finally signed up. I kind of want to sell him or something, I'm not sure, I don't really like him at all. Irine is a defensive midfielder, again, no, no pace, but aggression, anticipation, determination. Decent pacey, uh, pace, uh, passing, sorry, passing. Decent technique, tackling, okay, so it's a pretty good ball winning midfielder. We also have this guy, an Italian guy that's having the current basically 3 stars and 4 stars potential ability. Uh, not sure what to say about him, he's uh, pretty bad at physical, but decent at pace, uh, passing, sorry, what the hell, and uh, very good at uh, creativity, I mean 15, but kind of sucking on general stats that are important. Shen Mori, very decent, um, I mean, two stars and a half, four stars potential, he seems uh, okay -ish in the future, again, in the future, not now. Same thing here, I'm not really passing 14, long shots 14, first touch only 10, which it's kind of bad, well, not really, really bad, but still. Then we have this guy, which is kind of good. I mean, not kind of, but pretty good. I mean, passing 15, right? He has tackling, he has technique, he has decent teamwork, decent work rate, decent first uh, touch, uh, decent composure, decent creativity, decent pace, decent overall, right? He is also the most valuable player. Oh, 7 million right now. We also have Fabrini, which is an attacking midfielder, right? Uh, decent pace, decent dribbling, uh, decent agility, decent first touch, and also very young. Interesting. We have Forestieri. I know this guy from FIFA 10. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the story right now. Maybe some other time. Pace 15. Uh, dribbling again, and he's playing basically... What the hell? He's playing basically... Not as a striker, as an attacking midfielder center. And this is, I'm going to play him. Over the ball, 15, also pretty good. Creativity, 15, also pretty good. And he's also very young. Javier Acuna. I don't like this guy. It's not telling me anything. Finishing 13, which is not really that great. Heading 14, which is not really that great. Pace, okay -ish. Acceleration, okay -ish. But then concentration, composure, of the ball... Nah. Flair, it's and I have to pay him that salary. I don't know. I, I don't really like him. And then we have Troy. And um, Troy is very determined. Stamina, strength, very good. Composure 12, bravery uh, 14. And I was actually I actually started uh, to play with Watford already. This is why I already know the players. Uh, but because of the beta, I saw some nasty bugs and I said okay, I'm going to wait until the game will launch, and then I'm going to play. There are also some database changes. And uh, I was live streaming and people suggested that, no, this guy is a bomb. And uh, I played like three games and he was really, really playing really, really well. Now, there is something that you kind of missed. We don't have a defender left. And the last time I actually, it was very, very hard to find a defender left. <coughs> and it has been suggested to me to play with three defenders. And because we do have Faraoni, who's pretty good as a defender, a midfielder left on the defensive, he can go down and tackle. And because we also have Pudil, it's, it might be a good idea. So let's create a tactic and put it uh, like this. And then we will basically take uh, this one like this. And then we will basically change this dude to a defensive winger. 
I will change the tactic some other time. But this is the position with Faraoni here. Uh, with Pudil and... Uh, no, no. Forestieri here. Faraoni here. Pudil here. And then uh, three defenders. It might be interesting. I do have to see. But this is how we are going to play. I've never played with three defenders. Always 4-4-2 uh, or something like that. It's a game where you have to adapt to see exactly what you are going to be able to play and then take advantage of that, all right? So this is what I'm going to do right now. Uh, Championship-wise, we are... Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I can see the season preview. Yeah, here. Watford, we are number four on the odds. Um, so people say that we will finish on the playoffs. Hopefully, I will be able to achieve that. There are some very interesting uh, changes in Football Manager Football Manager 2014 when it comes to tactics. There are no more sliders, guys. No more sliders. Only team instructions, which uh, got changed a bit. Because if you play wider, you can see with red because it's conflicted. And it's kind of nicer to see and set up things like this, right? It's more realistic, but I still need to be adjusted with uh, all this thing. With no, no more sliders, right? So uh, I'm going uh, to try to find some good staff, good players. I will have to see exactly what I'm going to do and uh, and so on. As I've said, we if you if you look here, money is okayish with the transfer budget, but the available payroll is not really that great. So I do need to see. Maybe I'm going to find some um, some free players or uh, something like that. Some decent loans. And try to create a better team. I don't want to spend too much, because this is one of the mistake of the mistakes I did in the past. Somehow I sign. Um, let me actually show because I, I I know his name. I remember this guy. I actually wanted to sign him up in um, when playing with Wolves, but I found him about five years into the game. Not really five, or maybe three or four. Yeah. And I actually offered them like 50 million dollars and didn't want to sell him. And this guy really, really seems nice. And I kind of want him because of those mental abilities. And he's finishing 15, which is great. Uh, great. Okay, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's looking somehow tempting. And uh, Thomas Ince. He's called Tom Ince now. Uh, from Blackpool. Uh, we had him. But his value is kind of high. However, I've in my last game, as I've said, I play. I've been playing it for one month, one month in game. He was sold to Redid, Reading for three millions and something. As you can see, he's also being wanted. And uh, we, you know, we kind of don't need Thomas Tom Ince, as you can see, he's on the offensive side. But I don't know. I, I, I still I don't want to rush into things, but I want to think about things, and I'm. Basically, I'm going to end the recording now, not the episode, the recording. And until you will see me next time, I will play for something like three hours and something. And I will advance very little. So let's see what's going to happen. Hopefully, it's going to be interesting. Okay, guys, a few hours later, I think uh, we are up for um, you know the end of the episode. And we will end the episode with uh, a game, actually, our first game ever, of our first official game ever. Now let me tell you what uh, has been going on uh, in the meantime. Uh, let's see. Staff. We still have... Uh, I've signed this guy. Basically, technical knowledge only 12. Let's say it's okay, but uh, judging player ability, potential, very good. Determination, very good. Level of discipline and motivation, really, really good. Um, Man management, 16, also very good. And he's also pretty good at training goalkeepers and, uh, you know, with mental attributes. Because an assistant coach is also a coach. So, I will show you that uh, later. Uh, head of Yacht Development. There was a better one. It, there is a perfect head of Yacht Development. Uh, I believe it's at Palermo, but he was asking for way too much. And I only was able to grab this one. Uh, Working with youngsters, tw uh, 20. Man management only 11, but still pretty good at uh, player potential. Uh, so uh, judging player potential and level of discipline. Uh, coach, I got uh, this dude. Nothing special. It's kind of hard to find good coaches. And keep in mind that um, 
I don't have too much of a salary and I can't afford to go really into the stuff, right? Uh, we got this dude as a coach with, uh, he knows how to do fitness, but it doesn't matter. Man management to technical youngsters. I think, I think uh, I did some mistake here or something because I don't remember why I signed this dude basically. Because he seems to be a coach, I think I wanted to get him as a... I think I maybe want, I wanted to get him as a head of your development or something like that. And I accidentally offered him a coach position. Not sure what the hell happened. Goalkeeper coach, still the guy that was there. And he isn't really that great, but I can't really afford to check him now. Fitness coach, I got this dude, 20, 21 management, 20 motivating, determination, it's, he's looking pretty good. Um, and then the scouts, David Hamilton, uh, for a chief scout, you actually want for him to have man management, because he's going to be the one that's going to send uh, your other scouts to do stuff, right? Uh, I got Paul Montgomery, and also Barry Whitebread. Mainly because he has tactical knowledge. Uh, he was the best I could find that has tactical knowledge for 13. <laughs> it's kind of hard to find. Uh, anyway, let's see. Transfers. I'm not really, really happy. Oh, you know, just in case, if you want to get reports for loan reports, this is where you get them now. You basically go to transfers, transfer targets, and here you can ask your uh, director of football to put a loan report and uh, you know stuff like that. As you can see, I'm, I was looking for goalkeepers and I can't really find a uh, good goalkeeper. Maybe I can buy this one, but it's not really that great. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's really su sucky, and um, I also have to add that um, Almunia is injured again he was injured for a couple of days and now he's injured for about one week or two weeks <coughs> so uh, um, transfer history out i got some loans i also sold uh, doyle composure tree i just noticed it and basically this i got this dude for 2.7 million but uh, his contract is kind of high and there are a lot of clauses uh, appearance fee as you can see 13k uh, it's uh, over here goal bonus a lot i mean if you if you score okay uh, promotion bonus uh, yearly salary rise top division promotion eh, i don't know it, it seems okay i got him as a suggestion i'm still very scared that uh, maybe i shouldn't have gotten him i don't know no no gomez for free uh, yes, he's 37 years old, but look, he still has pace, he still has stamina, good composure, good finishing, good first touch, good heading, good leadership, uh, good passing, good penalty taking, he's good overall, also teamwork, so in, as you know, uh, we didn't have like another striker, and now we got him, and he's also, his salary is not really that high, it was also very cheap to get him, uh, this guy for free, he has some potential, I don't know, I said, okay, let's get him. I got Lassad, uh, not really sure what to say about him. As you can see, his repo report isn't really that great. Uh, he's also injury prone, so uh, hopefully he is going to be okay. He has dribbling, he has first touch. I also got him to work together with uh, Nuno, Nuno Gomez. Um, and we also loaned this guy. He's more of a wing back left, but he can play as a midfielder left and he's uh, decent. More of as a backup and so on. His salary isn't really that high. I said, okay, let's loan him. And I also put down a loan for a player from Granada. Mm, they accepted, but the player needs to accept. No, not a club. Mm. Let's see if I can fight him. This guy... I mean, with no salary, I want to get this guy for with no salary. Like, why not? I need every help I can get, right? So Almunia is injured for 10 days. So we are going to play with uh, Jonathan Bond, who's not really, really, really that great yet. So let's make up... Um, Training-wise, 
these are how the coaches are looking not really that many stars I, I i can get another coach but i'm not going to do it yet so um, also as a team i'm still training uh, for uh, tactics because as you can see the tactics the players are not really 100 percent familiar with the tactics which is which which kind of sucks right so let's see defensive wise oh i'm also offering a contract to oh i forgot Let's see if I can f find it real fast uh, navigating into the menus because as you see it's kind of messy. In William Gallas, I offered him a contract. Yeah, 35 years old, pace still uh, 11 which is still okay, but he's really really good. I kind of want him and another team they are Sunderland also want him. And now I want him because I only have 3 central defenders and my backup sucks. So I kind of need another one. And um, yeah, so let's make up a team and uh, let's go with it. Tactics. So this is how you can do it. You click and then you click team depth chart and you can see the, the stars. I'm putting you usually this dude on, uh, no, I'm, yeah, I'm putting this dude on, on the center. Then I'm going to put uh, Angela here. And I'm going to put uh, X strand here. Pudil here. I'm already starting to know the team, which is good. Uh, Faraoni here. Deep lying uh, playmaker, it's going to be Alman Abdi. Ball winning midfielder is going to be our um, new purchase. Advanced playmaker is going to be Forestieri. Why? Because of dribbling, anticipation, creativity, okay, passing and technique. Teamwork, unfortunately, is not really that good, but still. Deep lying forward, we are going to put Uno Gomez. And as a target man, we are going to put uh, Troy Dinley. Yes, he's good as a target man because of the determination, strength and heading. So let's see, now uh, the backups. I don't actually have another goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> show filters uh, I do have one that's sent to the second team and I'm going to put him there okay so uh, let's see Javier Acuna I, I don't like I think I'm going to try to loan him and then sell him next season or something like that because I do have uh, Lasani Lasad sorry I do have Fabrini uh, Murray it's going to be another backup as you can see, a defender. We do have this guy as a defender. And Cassetti. Cassetti can also play. No, I'm not going to put Cassetti. Oh, I'm going to put this dude. And now I only have room for one more, which is going to be Irine. And now we are going to get to a very, very annoying problem. And the annoying problem is that we need six players trained in nation. Uh, there is a bug there is a bug it's not allowing me to advance probably that's why uh, but I should have seen a message so we have one two three four five so we need another one as a backup that means I should put this dude as a it's not really bad actually yeah I should put this dude because he's not 100% bad so Irine <laughs> but Irine is also kind of good so annoying with these limitations. <laughs> yeah, but they are on kind of on the same spot. So let's try to put this dude here. Maybe I will rotate them. Irina, as I've said, I really like him. And uh, one thing you need to check up is to see that everyone is uh, not tired. And I can't really advance. I'm not sure exactly why. There is like a nasty bug. Pressing the button to submit the team. Okay, I simply quit the game and got in again and now it works. Phew, I was kind of scared that I'm going to need to start the game again. So let's see. I don't have full scout reports about a lot of players. I got a scout report uh, before Lovenkrantz. He used to be very fast a couple of years ago when he was at Newcastle. Let's see, you are basically kind of playing the same thing. It's going to be a middle battle. Middle battle. 
and there is no like no point on looking at the players because I can't do anything about them anyway. So let's just advance match analysis. He has been a uh, key man. This is their key man. Key man. Uh, okay, let's just start. I already asked my uh, assistant manager to take care of uh, opposing instructions. Here is where you tell, uh, okay, about this player. Show on to foot, so that way he will. Uh, your players will position themselves so they will force that player to use his weaker foot. Basically, that's the idea. Continue to pep talk. I'm going to be assertive and I'm going to... I expect a win today. Uh, only one got motivated. And then I'm going to be assertive and I'm going to... I think there is much more to come. Okay, he's looking happy. Same thing here. This is what I'm usually doing. So, let's uh, start the match, I guess. I deactivated the sounds because uh, the sound is way way too loud even on the when the slider is very low and it's always going like whoosh. and I think on the next episode I'm going to lo load some chill music behind because uh, you can only hear my voice now again I'm not sure exactly how the recording is going to look with the 3d in the past I uh, whenever I was uh, recording the 3d it's always like it's moving fine right now on my uh, screen, but it's always uh, on the recording. It's always moved like five frames per second or something like that. It seems to be a bit awkward. Anyway, I am going to see. If not, I'm going to switch to 2D classic. That's how I usually play actually. But now I said, okay, let's try to play it on the 3D. Let's see a crossing dimly with a goal. All right, so welcome guys to the first official game uh, with Watford. We are playing versus Birmingham on uh, their stadium. We are playing a 3-4-1-2 formation while uh, Birmingham is playing a 3-5-2. We got a pretty important uh, uh, crossing there and we scored. No, Gomez is offside. We are also playing control and fluid. Control means that we want to control the match and uh, try to attack. It's more offensive. Fluid it means that um, players will be more fluid. Defensive players will go a bit more on uh, the offensive and so on. And ooh, careful goal for them. Yeah, goalkeeper problems. As I've said, we will have to deal with it. Now instructions. This is how uh, in the past you used to go to tactics for the team tactics, and you will have a lot of sliders. Now they remove the sliders for the team and you are only left with the tactical instructions as you can see i'm putting work ball into bo box exploit the flanks play wider push higher up and play offside trap because i'm playing with only three the thing is that um, the friendlies have been versus weaker teams and we won without any problems like i have a 7-0 on 8-0 on 8-0 and a 2-2 so not sure how the tactics work and we will need to tinker with everything up and it's going to be an interesting journey hopefully hopefully okay i don't like that pass they have possession right now burke alan shine with the interesting pass good interception good pass to nuno gomez faraoni in the flank let's see how what he's going to do already uh faraoni forest here is that he has he can pass daily again but with a pretty weak shot damn it Rudolf got the ball in his hand. Rudolf, and look, he's red. You know, Gomez is not really playing that well. Only 5.8 rating, and he's going down with the rating, and he's looking nervous. So I'm going to substitute him, and I'm going to put Lassad in. Uh, I'm going to tell my team that I'm uh, not happy with their performance. This dude is looking stressed. Lassad is looking stressed. But I'm going to talk with him, and... And, yeah, I told him that I have faith in him. I'm going to be patient and I'm going to tell that I'm going to believe and he didn't improve his decision. The thing is that the the player, the whole team is looking fired up. So that's okay. Team wise, uh, player wise, I'm not going to do any changes anyway. As you can see, you can add instructions to players also like this. In case uh, one of them shoots too often and uh, so on. Uh... Let's look at the analysis, analysis, and action zones, formations, call figment. Let's see what my our assistant 
coach uh, is telling us. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the players are still not familiar with everything. Let's see the overview, actually. I want to see possession. We have possession. It's still kind of close, I guess. But uh, I can't put my hand off it. Let's just start and we will see exactly what's going to happen in the next round. Now that my players are a bit more fired up. Forestieri, good pass to Dean Lee. Dean Lee is with his back to the goal. Pudli is looking... It's uh, advancing with the ball on the flank pretty well. Let's see the cross. Let's see the cross. Good cross. Dean Lee is there. Goal. Beautiful Dean Lee. That was a beautiful occasion, beautiful face, beautiful goal. Dinli passed to Pudil on the flank. Pudil managed to beat his man and pretty good uh, job with the crossing. And Dinli was there with his head. Um, I'm still going to not change anything. I don't like the rating of Angela or oh, defenders. Let's see what our assistant coach is saying. Chris Burke is getting too much space for his crosses and if we don't close in them, he will uh, yeah, apply advice. This is something new in Football Manager 2014. Apply advice, okay. Okay, the rating for Angela went a bit up again. I don't have another good defender to substitute him. Maybe uh, the French dude, I forgot the name, the popular French. Oh my God, look how he's running and no one is there. Oh, tackle something, goal for them. It didn't even matter, it's like woo -woo -woo -woo, and then he scored. <coughs> a bit annoying. Look, no problems by the defenders. Like, this dude, Belkamp, was totally okay. This dude was chasing, just standing in front of him and not tackling at all. And then he dribbled basically, looking nervous. Lassad is not also is not playing well again. Denley Pudil. Pudil is an amazing player. He played pretty well in the... Denley again! Oh my god. He played pretty well in the, fr um, the friendlies. Let's see with the corner. Lassad. I didn't even, I didn't even have time to prepare to uh, for the you know, training, ma matches training for um, match cohesion. Uh, team cohesion. Cohesion. Ugh. I'm bad. I'm bad. Okay, let's see. Diego Fabrini, who's playing pretty bad? Uh, this dude is a bit tired. Fabrini. We can substitute and put for uh, in place of Forestieri. And then... Uh, Pudil got... Uh, yeah, let's put this guy. Because Pudil got a yellow card. And then confirm. And then play a bit more attacking. Got the possession. Maybe we should. Okay, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Come on, Dinley. Goal. Goal. No more uh, play standard. Play standard. <laughs> it's a hat trick. Jesus Christ. Good job. Good job. They are playing kind of high. Maybe I can exploit this. Let's put pause. There are still 40 minutes to be played. Pass into space, but that means that I'm going to lose possession. Uh, I'm not going to work ball into box. Let's just leave it like that. And then... Mm, retain possession. Let's just do that. Maybe I'm doing bad changes right now. And a guy who knows... Tactics and stuff will be like, no, don't do that. Okay, if you have suggestions for the tactics, just write in the comments below. I'm open to suggestions. All my life, for since I've been playing Championship Manager, oh, no, I don't like this. Uh, goal for them. Lovenkrantz. 3-3, three, three. what the hell, 3-3. Three, three. I didn't even have time to, to train for defense at pieces. And now I'm going back. To work ball into boss by some space, okay. Pretty good goal for them, actually. It was kind of um, impressive. Okay. 
five more minutes. Three, three. Jesus, I wanted to start with a win. Okay, maybe now. Throw in, back, let's hit the cross. Now it's a pass. Oh, Denley goal! Oh my god, Jesus Christ, Denley again. This guy is a bomb, at least in this game. Four goals for this guy. Oh my god. And in right, it was a pretty good goal, actually. Good shot by Jedi Nack. And Denley on there on the rebound. And now, are we going to win this? Blow the weasel, blow the weasel, blow the weasel, weasel, come on. I'm nervous, I'm actually nervous. <laughs> okay, oh, I like how this guy is controlling the ball. Fabrini, wow, what was that? That was a shot, actually, whoa, that was a bad shot. Okay, full time, 3-4, we won. I'm going to be calm. Good win, boys. Well done. I'm going to advance. And while I'm ending this episode, I'm going to save. Because I don't want for the game to crash. So thanks, guys, for watching this uh, first episode uh, from uh, Pet Place Football Manager 2014 with Watford. It's going to be an interesting journey, as I've said in the last... Uh, show in Fulham in 2013 I played with Wolves for 13 season let's see what's going to happen am I going to get fired am I not going to get fired I don't know let's see watch your comments uh, in the comments below or uh, go to the forums uh, thanks for watching this uh, see you soon goodbye